Singapore is a city in constant flux. But this story isn't about the busy office workers. Hello, morning. Or the harried commuters. 95. This story Hi, is about the invisible people that keep us going and make sure the city is in order. To tell you their stories, we spent months with people that most of us wouldn't take a second look at. They do jobs that are crucial, but thankless. We don't acknowledge us. We just know just walk off. We meet Sarah Bana, the waiter with a double life. Fatima Hussein, the 75-year-old cleaner. Okay, pump it, pump it. Yasin, the petrol pump attendant. Baska, the tireless construction worker. And Benjamin, one of Singapore's youngest bus drivers. They think they only need to fetch the passengers for A to B. Hey, Chao Ma, no report. Ah. Hey, Ha, no report. Eh. They are the invisible people in our society. Now, watch their lives unfold in this exclusive documentary. When I was 16 and 17 years old, I started to have passion in buses. Fan of buses, Twenty-two year old Benjamin Lim was the youngest bus captain when he joined the ranks at Tempinis Interchange. I have been working around one year and a half. Driving a bus every day is a challenge. Uh. The public they think that it's a very easy job. Very easy to do, nobody to control. Only need to fetch the passengers for A to B. Send one more. Yes, correct. Bus captains don't only drive for one service number. Drivers with Benjamin's experience are assigned an average of seven routes. He cannot rely on a navigation system and must know all the routes by heart. I know more roads than other bus captains at the same level. Currently, I can drive 30 routes. By memorizing landmarks, it takes me about one day to learn new service road. While Benjamin's day is just revving up, things are kicking into first gear for 77-year-old pump attendant Mohammed Yassin. His shift is from 3 to 11 p.m. today. He works at an SO station. And his job is to keep drivers fueled up and ready to roll when their petrol levels run low. You cannot pump, you have to wait. Whenever a new shift begins for the day, the cashiers in the office need to hold off on all transactions so they can tally the tills and fill the cash drawers for another eight-hour shift ahead. Until two minutes, then inside, inform you can pump, okay, then we can pump. Okay, can pump. Okay, thank you. Macam kita, walaupun umur pakcik ini ni, Pakcik happy kerja macam ni. Hi, sir. Good morning, sir. Supreme, good time. Ada customer kadang-kadang dia tanya, Where's the Malay man Haji? Bye-bye. Why not in today? Dia tanya kita. Sebab kita dah biasa dengan dia, kan? Regular? 60. 60. Macam suami baik? Alhamdulillah. Ini saya nak ke Johor ni. Oh, nak ke Johor? Regular ni. Oh, ya, habis tak jam? Tak tahu lah ni. Tak tahu. Aku kerja ni 
Umur aku dah tujuh bulan lebih tapi aku masih aktif kerja. Aku kerja. Aku lagi suka kerja. Kalau aku dah tak boleh jalan, dah tak boleh nampak, itu lain. Selagi aku boleh jalan, selagi aku boleh kerja, aku kerja. Bukan kita kerja pam minyak aja tau. Lagi macam-macam kita nak tahu sini. Macam sini, macam saya sini, saya semua mau tahu. Yasin was promoted to senior pump attendant 10 years ago. Tim, go over here, Tim. Compared to the other eight attendants here, go straight, straight. He has to be extremely familiar with the station's protocols and procedures. You go straight down there, please. Thank you. When we pump, we must clear about two, three feet. We cannot stay like that. So that kalau petrol spark itu kan, kita muka tak kena. Lagi kalau muka kena apa, jangan selalu ambil kain lap. Isi mau pakai air. Even if the pumps were to malfunction in an unexpected freak accident, Yasin is trained to handle it. Ini jangan cakap okey tau. Kadang-kadang ini jangan cakap okey. Kadang-kadang kita pump, dia tak boleh stop. All all spin. All spin banyak minyak. All minyak-minyak. Also press emergency. Seal kit dalam ni semua ada komplit. Barang-barang ni semua ada dalam sini. This side, please. Yasin also has to watch out for petrol thieves. Kalau big lorry, 200 lebih kita nak jaga. Kalau kita tak jaga, dia lari. Though the station has CCTV cameras, they don't capture everything. Blind spots in the station mean Yasin needs to be the eyes and ears on the ground. Okay, pump eight, pump eight. Yeah, say ma. Iyang ah, lagi pump say how iyang. Sekarang kurang lah. Sekejap lagi dalam pukul enam tujuh kereta banyak penuh. Six p.m. is also the busiest time of the day for forty-six-year-old restaurant manager Saravana. We got a lot of crowd coming in. It's quite busy today. Hey, the mega cheese how long ah? And the day is set to get. Even more stressful. Hi, Bola Sarah. Yes, I do. Draw something? Anything? By any chance, did you see your wallet? Wallet. Sorry, guy. The customer dropped the wallet. Hi, Bola Sarah. How many are you? Okay. Okay. Take it here. Maybe she can leave it there, no problem. Okay. So once ready, order the counter, yeah? Thank you. 46 year old Saravanan is the branch manager of a popular restaurant franchise. As a restaurant manager, I don't just sit at a table or people emails and everything emails. Yeah, I do take orders and serve customers when there's a long queue. I love to work in customer service. You want to help you, ma'am? Because I love to serve customers and I love to talk to their customers. 15 bahasa Okay. Okay, thank you so much. For you only, for others, no. <laughs> so, let me wipe the table first. Thank you. Okay, your cheese, ah. We ask you to work, then you know. Want to work here part time or not? Want to work here part time? One hour, eight dollars. <laughs> Singaporean customers are a bit demanding, I can say that. Any problem, any, any issue? Or no, no, no. Everything okay? I just asked for no mushrooms. Oh, it's very really pre-mixed, ma'am. Sorry. Go on, I can get for you now. Sorry. Um, they need service, of course. My chicken wing coming, tell me. Chicken wing. How long more? Customer eat pasta finish ready. Certain things they need yeah. to be very fast. Really? For the check on the food qualities as well. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Sorry, here you are. Chicken wing. They do make a complaint of food quality. The food is not right for them. No chili, right? Okay, I will double check for your order. Thank you. But we must have a patient with customers. We need a patient, a lot of patience. 
Tan Ochiri. The table okay for you? So once ready, you order at the counter, yeah? It's a dinner time on a Sunday at the restaurant. I give you that table? The busiest day of the week. Okay. Follow her, yeah? Thank you. We got a lot of crowd coming in. Too busy until I have no time to take a break. Hi, Bonatera. Coming here. As hectic as the day has been, it's about to get even more stressful for Saravana. Hi, Bona Sarah. Yes, I do. Draw something? Anything? By any chance, did you see your wallet? Wallet? No, I never seen it. I'll check for you. Huh? Do you find any wallet that's not on the floor or whatever? Water? Wallet, wallet. No, oh, alright. You are sitting here. You just give me a name and a contact number. If I found it, I'll call you back. You sit, well, you are sitting here, right? Yeah. Okay, check for you. Wallet. Customer said drop the wallet. But I don't have any wallet there. Eh? Sorry, uh, miss, I just checked. Because the customer is not earlier sitting here. They check out exactly the wallet here. But I never seen any wallet here. It's okay. Thank you. For the next hour, Sarah Vanan searches relentlessly for this elusive wallet. We have it, but it's not connected. We need to check from the office side. Two hours later, the man who lost his wallet returns with his companion. She demands to see the CCTV footage. According to restaurant rules, customers are only allowed to see it if they have a police report. But the customer is getting more frazzled. He has returned for the third time in three hours. Ah, three, ah, three, ah, three, ah. It's a rectangular wallet. Now, where's it? It has shown me more. Definitely, right? There's no one every. We cannot check from our CTV, right? We don't have the. No, we don't have that. Sarah Vanan finally finds a solution. He will try to view the footage on behalf of the customer. Hello, boss. So can you help me to check on the CCTV tomorrow morning? The customer returns again, wanting an answer. Because I did check with all my colleagues. None of them saw it. Do you went to the information counter and check with them? But Saravana knows he can only get to the footage in the morning. I never too. Sometimes we deal with customers. They were, you know, they were asked so many questions and you know, we really need to answer them. We didn't need a kind of customer service course. And also we learn from experience. In customer service, Sarah Banan is always learning to deal with unpredictable situations. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start seven step. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, but there is nothing three, unpredictable four, about 75-year-old cleaner. Fatima Hussein's job. Every day before work, she has to attend this same briefing. Lagi dulu sambil umur tiga tahun, tiga puluh tahun sampai sekarang dah umur dah tujuh puluh lima, masih kerja kelina juga lah. Tak ada lain kerja. Okay, today Thursday. What is the class program? Being a cleaner is no easy job. There's plenty. To remember. Okay, everybody must follow up the class program. Huh? Okay? How many types of clothes we are using for cleaning? Five. 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 Okay, can you tell me? Green. Green microfiber. Hello. Green microfiber. Blue microfiber. Blue microfiber. Blue microfiber use where? Glass. Glass. Okay. Blue for mento. For the water dispenser. Okay? How about the yellow? The and the red? Yeah. Maintain your area. 
Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Nah, tak boleh lupa. Pasal ini barang mesti kita nak ingat. Fatima is a cleaner at Academia, the research wing of Singapore General Hospital. Masuk dalam, pakai sarung tangan. Sarung tangan angkat sampah. But as routine as they may be, these procedures are far from redundant. Especially when you're dealing with biohazard waste. Blood, bacteria and virus samples are tested in academia's labs every single day. And if Fatima doesn't follow the procedures, she can develop an infection from the hazardous samples she handles. Workplace safety is also paramount for 38-year-old Indian construction worker Baska. He has been working at Straits Construction for almost eight years. This site will become a colossal condominium with 531 units spanning nine 15-storey blocks. But it will take Baska and more than 200 other workers nearly four years to complete it. Today, the gate of the site needs a fresh coat of paint, and Baska has been appointed. He's one of the few workers here who are qualified to operate a boom lift or a machine that allows easy access to high places. Baska needs to raise the boom lift about five meters in order to reach the top of the gate. At that height, a fall could be fatal. Though having a boom lift license means Baska commands a better salary of $1,200, it also means taking on much more risk. It's the lunch crunch, 
and 46-year-old restaurant manager Sara Vanan is dealing with a crisis of his own. He has been waiting a whole day for a call. A customer thinks he has left his wallet in the restaurant and he returns repeatedly to check if Saravanan has found it. Saravanan is waiting for a call about some CCTV footage of the incident. Hi, Pastor Mary Jane. Okay. We really checked with the CCTV with my area manager. So we check it. Mm, my area manager can't find any, any uh, wallets. The customer left it on the table. So we did call the customer back, told them that the wallet wasn't found. Okay. So we believe that the customer maybe misplaced it somewhere else. Yeah. Welcome, bye. Once in a while, we do feel stress, but uh, that's only just for a while. After that, when we when we set up the customers, it's you know, uh, no more issue. Hi, that. Okay. It's 7 a.m. The start of another 10 hour workday for construction worker Baska. Very slowly. Baska's supervisor notices that he has been distracted at work. Hey, uh, Baska, come on. Last few days, uh, what happened to uh, you? This one, my grandma. You know, he doesn't want to know, he doesn't want to know. Maybe 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 he doesn't want to know. What is weighing on Baska's mind? Straight out 